Hello, welcome to Season 11, Scandinavia. It's my second attempt at a first look video. I was having some audio issues and I was like, I have another file where I can do a first look video on it. It isn't worth it. Did a bunch of things, learned some stuff. So, here's attempt two. First thing, we're going to go up to that tower to reveal the area. When I was doing my first attempt at this, I actually completely missed the turnoff for that tower, so I was just going around it and discovering stuff, which was kind of cool, but not the most effective for a first look video if you want to get information out there. So let's head up this. Also, in this version, I'm doing it in the scout instead of look. Kind of feels right. Going off roading in a classic off road field it just kind of feels right. And I got an autonomous switch, so I don't have to worry about rolling. And so here's our first lock tower. It's light enough. So. We can just do this nice pan of the area. I also like the watchtower design for this region. And while these are triggering, might as well turn the engine off not to burn any fuel. Troll tank. <laughs> Just a, just a few. Okay, so western and eastern block. This one requires four wooden planks, and this one requires two. You want to kind of do this as soon as you can. Because this road, it just kind of is a main artery, and it's going to make your life a whole lot easier if you don't have to take the back mountain pass or cut through this swampy area to get around this blockage. So it's one of the things I'd recommend doing when you can. And uh, let's see if it, oh, it didn't reveal it, but... Right in this area are some wooden planks you can get from some houses, or you can bring a generator over here and get the wooden planks from this production place. But first, first order of business you should do is this bridge issues, because what that means is you don't have to try and cross right here, or take the long, because this road it actually eventually loops around to the other side, so that's the other way you can get to the wooden planks. And this upgrade is the raised suspension for the Neo Falcon 2000. And Troll Tamer, that's where the Burrock 6x6 is. And all you have to do is get it out of here, then come down here, and then come all the way back here to right where Troll Tamer is. It's kind of, uh, I, I didn't use the right vehicle, so it took a little longer for me, but honestly, it's surprisingly easier and I'm also surprised they put it on the first map if it was if I was expecting something it would be that the Falcon would be on this map no I did see some PTS footage where it wasn't and it's so it's probably not but anyway oh one word of warning because I was doing a map overview like this when I was going up to get the generator let's see what yeah that would be See, is it show? It's not showing on the map yet, but up in this area's generator, I stopped to do a map overview, and I sunk so deep in the ground with the Pacific P16 that it actually got stuck, and I couldn't get it out <laughs> because there wasn't a tree strong enough for it to winch to. So, be careful where you stop in this region. Now we've done that. Let's bring our next truck. I've also found that 
given where they placed the fuel station, which is further on down this road, it may not be a bad idea to have a fuel truck like the 5600 TS that you can just park, like, say, here or somewhere on this side of the map would be one of my recommendations. So, first order of business. is before we can cargo craft where is it should be here oh i have to go activate but okay that's that's annoying So, to save a little fuel, we'll just take our scout and go activate that side task. Surprised it's not a main task. Probably should be a main task if you ask me. Anyway. We're gonna make our own path! Woohoo! And that's why you're careful. That's why you don't leave home without an autonomous winch. I don't need all-wheel drive on, I'm burning fuel. So let's pick up bridge issue, which is something I again recommend doing as soon as you can. Oh yeah, that's right. And it's probably helpful. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and get a small scout trailer because you can go pick up these small concrete blocks. They're actually at a warehouse and don't need to be crafted, which is nice. So what we can do is we can actually just take the scout and go do that since we do have the power for one block stop sized cargo. And you don't need to buy one of these. I think you get one of these free by the gas station. And as you can see, it introduces a new scout trailer. I like this one personally, but there's also a bigger one that you can put. But anyway, just personal preference, but we're here for that little trailer. Normally I cut out this part since it's going to be a lot of pavement driving, but since this is the first work video and a new region, I'll leave it in. We're gonna shift into the right gear for this. As for the two metal beams, you're going to have to craft those and that will take 30 fuel the craft. I'm glad that this is it's getting back to the crafting I remember from the Yukon where it was not bad. I've been working on a more on this my original hard mode style and ugh, the amount of stuff you have to move just to craft other things so you can finally just deliver them. I am so glad that's not the case here. And here we have someone who got themselves into trouble. 
why they hang out with friends that they just decide to go and find some water and do some fishing I don't know but they're going to need a rescue and as usual it's not just hey can you get this vehicle out of here it's also hey can you repair this vehicle so Now, since I'm scouting, I'm not going to do this, but I could theoretically use, I think, the repair points on this roof rack are full, so I could do the repairs. But I want to keep these parts just in case I need them for something else later. Although I will probably cut the return journey. I'll record in case something happens, but I'll probably cut it since you'd just be seeing the same area twice. That doesn't really add anything. But we'll pick up this. Like this nice little garage here. <laughs> I'm also just getting these to show where they are. And this one just hauled that trailer to another point, which... Maybe? I don't know how heavy that trailer is, so I don't know whether the Scout 800 could do it, but that, that will potentially be an interesting test for the Neo Falcon. Try not to hit the mailbox. Oh. Ah. Almost. I suppose if I had powered the front wheels, I may have turned a little tighter. Anyway, let's go get those concrete blocks and drive past the totally not a Dodge Durango. It's totally, trust us. those green boxes, those could be cargo. It's kind of disappointing. There's a lot of set decorations you find throughout the region that I'm like, that could be cargo. And the interesting thing about something like those green boxes, or like even just boxes the size that have the spare parts on here, is you can call them different things and give them different weights. It's kind of like a mini cargo you can haul in the back of the scout or the pickup bed of your CK-1500 or the back of the loaf. I mean, just kind of a missed opportunity. And it would also kind of give you a reason for why your guy with the pickup got called at the very beginning of the game. Anyway, so just to show you on the map, this is where this warehouse is. And we got unlimited bricks, one metal beam, two metal rolls, which we can also just use for the there's another job that needs that. We're here for these blocks. Because... Once I get the generator, there's another warehouse you can open up, but it needs repairs. It's gonna need that service trailer that's right by the garage. It's gonna need two metal rolls and a set of metal beams. So theoretically, you could bring a semi-trailer here, load it up with supplies. But I'd recommend clearing the rock slide first. And here we come. 
question is, which side do I want to go? I think I'm going to go this way because I don't want to get hung up on that tree. I actually tried to bring a semi-trailer through that way and I probably got hung up on those rocks and trees, which was part of the reason I had such a problem on the other file. I should have probably came this way. that the weight of the cement would be a little too much, so let's get ourselves out. Give ourselves a little more power. Okay, that's not gonna be helpless. And it looks like I'm paying for my decision not to put mud tires on and attempt this with off-roads. Well, that's good to know. Well, let's bring this truck in. Because I guess it's time. Let's try not to have to drive this way with this truck so I can go and get... go and get the generator, but eh, looks like we still. So. Unlike the 4070 International, which I brought because I was going to refill the fuel tank before sending it back to Yukon on my other fire, this one has all-wheel drive, so this one is way better. And because I can't remember where this thing can haul a trailer with both bed and crane, I'll probably take the bed off just if you can't save. I got an autonomous winch. I got an autonomous winch. So I guess we're pulling that trailer out. It's just way too heavy. So we're just gonna pull it out with the freight liner. Oh, I really wanted to be able to complete something with the with a scout trailer that wasn't just hauling wooden planks, which are so, so light, but, uh, alas. And this is commonly what's referred to as brute forcing. That actually would be great. Of course that would happen. What? Why wouldn't that happen? Here we are. This production area can also produce cabins, so that's where you have to go. I haven't looked at what the list of materials that you need to bring here for a cabin is yet.
So hopefully the sun's starting to set a little, so hopefully we'll get this done before it's completely dark. And then we can end this video having built that bridge and retrieved the generator. This area looks scary, but honestly, I don't, it just feels like a nothing area. If anything, it would only be difficult for your starter vehicles, like that little part where snow's blocked over the road right outside the garage on Northport. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Just so when, when I wanted to do these later, I can just say, oh, it needs that, instead of going, oh, I forgot to get that, and I have no clue what is entailed in that. And since we have all-wheel drive, the fact that that crane's putting most of its weight on the front axle isn't a bad thing this thing didn't have all-wheel drive installed on it, then I'd probably move the crane just so the front axle wouldn't dig in too much. But... And put on the all-wheel drive. Kind of the tough and muddy part a little. Although it's not going to be as bad as the mud on this other side of this little hill. That, if anything, that's the place where you're going to have trouble doing this is getting through that. Not this puddle because you can kind of just rock fall your way around. So I haven't actually tried to drive through this, but right on the other side, right by the generator, as you can see, is a mud area you have no choice but to go through. At least I think. Let's see if there's a way that I can avoid it. But yeah, that's kind of a muddy area. And the soft ground I was talking about where the P-16 got stuck is just on the other side of that pond. I literally drove up there, realized I pointed the wrong way, and came down and then stopped. We probably can get through this without much going in, but we're going to have a lot more weight pulling that generator out, so that could make things interesting. So I don't want to destroy these trees if I can help it. Wait, none, none of those? Oh yeah, that's right. Some of the trees that look like they can be anchor points are not anchor points here. I forgot about that little detail.
kind of inching our way forward. The only miss is because I'm running low tires that I'm bottoming out, and that isn't helping the situation, which means in order to go forward, I'm going to have to do the thing I don't want to do, which is go back. And try not to roll over at the same time, that would also be Because this is where I should have been driving the whole time instead of driving right through the middle of the mud pond. I mean, Daniel, you call yourself a veteran snowrunner player, come on. <laughs> Don't you remember your rule? If you can drive around the mud pit, drive around the mud pit through it. Yeah, I was parked right by these trees and just sunk into the ground, so be careful right here. So instead of driving up there and then coming back out, because I realized that's pointing the wrong way, we're just going to back in from this direction. And I think the ground's stable enough out there that I can look at the map and figure out how I want to get this trailer out of here. I'm not familiar enough with these routes to know if they're a good idea. The only really path I've taken is this one to get down here and around the blockage. So, I don't know where that goes. Okay, I guess... Stick to the path you know and hopefully you get out. Let's maybe avoid the middle of that mud block while we're doing it, too. I'm just now realizing this. Those are breakable trees, so I actually don't even have to drive in that mud. Or at least one of them was. The game developers probably thought somebody's going to try this, so of course we have to make sure they can't do it. Yep. Yeah. The game developers got me. They totally got me. I thought everything was going to be small and breakable like that one tree. Pushing that rock back is not ill. Looks like we've got ourselves unstuck, so I can just get through here without getting the rear axle hung up on the tree. And that tree is potentially stopping me, but at the same time, I can't use it as a winch. Either that or it's this rock just hitting the axle of your box. This is probably not helping. Oh no, I don't want to drag the trailer into that tree. That would be a nightmare. Let's not do that.
All right, I guess this is where part one of the first look for for season 11 Scandinavia ends. I'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching.